Hi YouTube, got some new currency here today. Um, some from coin shows and some are from me finding them through coin dealers. So the first is going to be the Hephalites. Kind of hard to see. There we go. Um, the Hephalites were a group of nomadic raiders and they caused problems for the Sasanian Empire. You probably would know them from Khosrow or Ashir one. This one's of Constantius Gallus. It took a while to actually attribute this because some of the legends were worn off and especially because at this time in the Roman period um, most of Constantine's sons were had pretty much the same kind of physical appearances in their busts so it's hard to attribute this coin, but I finally did. Now on the back would be a Roman soldier spearing a barbarian. Another one is of Crispus as Caesar, Constantine's son. Another one is a Roman provincial coin struck under Tiberius, but it's a posthumous of Augustus, meaning that they put Augustus's face on the front. However, I really didn't buy this coin for the actual heritage of like a certain emperor, but because I found it so interesting, the um, type of coloring that it had on it. So if you can see in the picture, it's got a beautiful blue and purple and sort of gold, silvery, um, texture to it which is really neat and that's all it has to do with the um, oxidation and um, denaturing of the um, bronze which is really cool. This one is of Otho. This is a silver denarius. Um, I plan to have this one sent off to NGC and get graded and authenticated. Um, very interesting emperor. It lasted only three months just like Vidius Julianus or Pertinax. Um, very difficult to find a very cheap coin of this emperor, um, part of the 12 Caesar. So as of today, well, as long as I send off to NGC and it's approved, but I'll be able to complete my 12 Caesars collection. So Otho. Another one is that I bought from a coin dealer. He really doesn't do anything in medieval coins or any ancient coins. But he said he would let pretty much any of his coins go for about $2, so I bought this for $2. And it took me a couple hours, but I finally found what kind of coin it was. Even though all the hours that it takes to find out which coin it is is exhausting, it's actually pretty interesting to find something that you didn't know about it. I didn't know what this coin was, didn't know what it looked like. Um, I could tell by the front and back it was like a dagger and a horseman and some of the legends around it, but I really didn't know exactly what I was getting into. But I was actually pretty surprised and very pleased with what I got. This one is a coin, um, a denier of the Duchy of Lorraine. And I thought that was really cool that I got to have this coin for only two bucks. And I was actually pretty interesting because I was actually looking for a coin from Lorraine. Another one right here is going to be of Luca. I actually went to go see the city, so I like to get coins from places that were minted, uh, the coins that places were minted that I actually went to. It's a beautiful city. I, I, I advise that you go sometime in your life. Um, beautiful coin. Um, 1658, I believe this is a frozen time kind of coin. Um, 1658 is actually when it was struck, but it's Imperator Auto. So, they most likely started minting coins under Auto, probably the first, second, or third, or fourth, um, as the Holy Roman Emperor, and they just kept with that legend and that kind of bust. But this would have been, like, a lot later. The other one is of Herod Agrippa, or Grip, um, sorry, Agrippa and struck under Claudius. Just nice to have some cool Judean coins. And here's another one of Judea.
And then finally, I have this banknote here. Well, it's technically not a banknote. It's actually a promissory note from the colony of Jamaica. I thought it was pretty neat that I actually got to get one of these because Jamaica didn't even start minting coins until after the date of here right now, um, 1803. So their first official coins and banknotes weren't issued until a lot later on, decades after. So it's just nice to have a promissory note issued at this time. Very cool. Um, no watermarks. However, if you can tell right here, it's going to say one shilling, eight pence. So that was a, you know, sort of a stamp act thing. They put a tax on every single piece of paper that was issued, any official documents. So that's what this is right here. So I thought that was very interesting. I got it for a good deal. Of course, they always have the signatures in the back to make sure that, you know, the right person is receiving the amount of money that they promised them. So I thought that was really cool. Alright, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.